Marshall, so good to catch up with you, man. As we kind of just sit here and we are in awe about what's going on here at Liberty, not just athletically, but spiritually, man, it's a great place to be. So, I mean, I can't take a smile off your face as we talk here. I mean, you've been here so long, and that's a good thing, to experience the gamut. Are you still in awe when you come to work here? And even for you and your lunch break when you run, th run through campus, I mean, put into words kind of what it's like to experience all this. I sit back and I laugh on a daily basis. That one, someone pays me money to coach football. And then two, God has blessed me to be here 15 years. Uh, to watch Dr. Falwell's dream come to fruition, it's just, it's mind blowing. To hear everything he talked about happen, it just, it just blows me away on a daily basis. This indoor we sit in, um, I can remember when the sinkhole uh, happened here uh, some years ago and I was standing out in, in the, uh, behind the, the defense and I'm standing in this hole just wondering, ah, this is neat. And then, you know, several hours later you have this huge sinkhole. But to see it go full circle, Dr. Falwell's dream, uh, Dr. Falwell's passion, uh, Dr. Falwell's vision that he was given to by God happen and come to fruition, it's just mind blowing. The transition to FBS has everybody so excited. When the staff is in the meetings and, and grinding away, how much do you think of that, of okay, we're now moving. I think you've always had the expectations and you definitely operate at that FBS level of how professional we do things here. But do you, do you all still have conversations of wow, this is actually happening, and, and kind of what goes on with that? I don't know if it's, you know, a lot of the other guys have been at the FBS level most of their careers. Um, for me personally, I just sit back in those meetings and I just kind of laugh to myself to see where we started and then where we're at now, um, to see the type of individual that we're recruiting now, our ability to walk into a high school and really recruit any player that uh, we feel fits Liberty University and then to be able to recruit the best so-called Christian athletes around the country it's really mind-blowing it's really fun I sit back and I just chuckle on the inside I asked one of the coaches earlier about going out and recruiting and talking to these players and having to still say just come to campus if they may not know about it how often does that happen and once you do get them here like, man, coach, you were not kidding around. This place is phenomenal. How often does that happen? It happens about 90% of the time. Literally, there's so many people around this country that have no clue about this hidden gem. And what you really push for is just come. And what I tell them is that you're going to see all the stuff, but get to know the people. Get to know the people that are going to invest in your life. Get to know this atmosphere that's going to transition you from a boy to a man. But for the most part, you just got to get them here. Just get them here and walk around this campus. And then, uh, you know, uh, this atmosphere will take care of the rest. When you do get them here and you walk around the campus, uh, even if it's not an athletics facility, is there one part of the tour or the experience for you that, I mean, I can't wait to take them through this part of, of their visit here? Well, really, I, I think the campus and the stuff sells itself. But when they get to meet Coach Gill, and see his heart, when they get to meet Christy Bikes and her staff, when they get to meet random people on campus and they're saying thank you, please, and excuse me, and they're opening up the door for people, it, it's a different atmosphere. I always call it the bubble. I, I am spoiled by the bubble because when you go out in the real world, it can be a little harsh at times, and, and anywhere can be, but this is a special place. Let's talk game day experience for a minute. In years gone by, it's always been, well, you hear from your other teams, and we hear a lot about what it's like to play against you in your facility. Again, you're coaching on game day, but it's sometimes maybe pregame, or you still have to kind of experience yourself, just say like, wow, this is, this is so cool. I can't wait to, to experience this on a game day. Do you still have those moments? I do. I, I really, um, really understand how much of a privilege it is to be a part of something like this on game day. Uh, my, my first memory of when, when this atmosphere became unbelievable was when we played JMU one year and there was a rainstorm. And our entire student section was filled before the game, 
during the rainstorm to welcome JMU walk past them, you know, in the former locker room over there. And it just hasn't changed. It's just grown and become more uh, uh, amazing and, and energy charged. Uh, I can't wait to see that ODU game when we're out there to see the second deck and see those kids show up. How about when you drive up to campus and you're coming to your office and you see the enhancements at Williams Stadium? And you better take a snapshot of it each day because it changes every second, it seems like. What's the biggest transformation aha moment for you? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many. You know, I can remember in 2010 when they finished that side and uh, driving up now, seeing it from, you know, from the road up 460. It's just mind blowing. But once again, I always go back to what Dr. Falwell talked about. He talked about this all the time. So to me, I just see <laughs> it going full, full circle. Now I just put pressure on ourselves to, to really do what he asked us to do. And that's, uh, you know, win champions for Christ. And through that process, we'll win football games. We talked to Coach Gill earlier today, and he more than once talked about the Baylor win back in 2017 last fall and what that meant for this program and the residual effects from that and the FBS move. And, he said, hey, that was a great win, but we strive for more. How does he push this staff and this team to not rest on just one game, but there's a bigger picture involved in it? Yeah, Coach Gill has an amazing, what I call, process. And he's always pushing forward with our mission and our vision of this entire program, which also marries with the mission and vision of the university in a lot of ways. Um, but he is non-wavering from what you should be doing on a daily basis, whether it's your process, whether it's how you address young people, um, it's how you love on them, how you correct them. And uh, that's our job. Um, football is going to take care of itself because of the process. But these young people, um, God's not, I'm not going to walk up to the, the God's altar and he's going to ask me how many games I win. He's going to ask me, what did I do with the gifts and talents that you, I've given you to win people to Christ and to walk them through the process for my glory. <laughs> His glory, I'm sorry, not mine. So th that's really what Coach Gill has instilled in us is to continue to push forward and sell the process and sell the vision and sell the mission and it's always mission driven on a daily basis. Final thought here, Marsha. When you make your trips around town or even around the country and, and you engage with fans about, man, I can't wait for the Old Dominion game, for this move FBS. What are some of those conversations like and what excitement do you hear and feel from them? Yeah, I, I you know, <laughs> it, it is continual. And, uh, you know, ideally I would like people not to know that I coach at Liberty when I'm walking around town, but they know, yeah. um, especially at the YMCA when you're hanging out in the steam room. But um, there is a sense of excitement um, and the way you address it is I always just continue to say, hey, we're trusting the process, and at the proper time, we will be ready for these uh, momentous tasks that we have to perform. Um, the Baylor game is what it is. Uh, we were prepared. We knew we had a chance. But every week is a Baylor game from this time forward. And uh, I'm just looking forward to the challenge.